the beware sign that my daughter was asking for. And I'm just gonna sand it. Chop up the edges a bit more. I think they will be there. Looks more scary. Be wary. Ah, be wary. Be wary of the Aries. Come on. <laughs> be wary, scary Mary Aries. Good morning. So I took off some more of the edges. They don't look so blocky. Kind of like that. This next here is uh, beeswax and oil. I cannot remember what oil is in this. This has been in this pot for two or three years in the craft room, and I just use it when I carve something with wood. I just. It only smells like beeswax, so I can't tell what kind of oil it is. But, anyways, yeah, that's what I do. I just put that on there so that it is protected. And it's gonna go inside, so I'll put some on the top. I'll put some on all sides and the edges and everything. Now, I could do this to the deck, I suppose. I still haven't done the stain on the deck because it's poison. Alternatives to the poison are <laughs> alternatives to the mainstream things people use. This Isn't that funny? It's always, there's a poison, nasty kind, that people accept as a regular. <laughs> and then there's the alternative that those health conscious people care about. You know, the people who think chemicals everywhere make you sick. So yeah, I could do this, and I might, but I don't know where I'd get enough beeswax. Beeswax smells so good, though, and it does really work well to protect the wood stuff. And so this wax will dry a little bit, and then it will look a little waxy, and then I just polish it off. Like, you used to polish your dad's car in the 80s, because that was what dads did in the 80s. They got their kids to help them. Polishing the car. And mums did it on the floor. Do you remember mums used to wax floors? I don't know. They still do a little bit of that. My mom, Taurus, Capricorn Moon, floor waxer. Well, I might have to make a new batch of oil and wax. Because normally I'm just using this for tiny little wood carvings that I make. But yes, this is what I like to do with a chainsaw. Something big that would take me hours and days to carve this out with hand tools and not a saw. So. I just let that dry and then polish it up again. It's all shiny and waterproof. I just want to show you guys how waterproof it is. I don't know if you'd call this waterproof or water resistant, but you can see the water just beads off very easily when it's waxed and oiled. So when it's outside, it lasts a lot longer. It works like a charm. Why do they, why do people say it works like a charm? What does that even mean? 